Okay, hello everyone, thank you. Uh, I'm Liang Xu. I'm currently a third year PhD student from the University of Queensland. And today it's my great honor to introduce our work uh, also in the federal recommendation system. Uh, the title of our work is Towards Personalized uh, Privacy that the user governed data contribution for federal recommendation. Okay. So uh, firstly, to make sure everybody here is the same page, uh, especially for audience, so those who are not familiar with the recommendation system. So at the beginning, I will give you a brief, briefly introduction to the key ideas of the recommendation system. So uh, recommender system are very ubiquitous in our many uh, different applications, such as uh, in YouTube or TikTok. You will find that the, uh, the, this, this platform will continually generate uh, uh, recommended to the items that is very similar to your uh, browsing history. So here uh, in this figure, we give you a typical architecture of uh, recommendation models. So you can see uh, here we use, uh, we take the uh, recommendation model in the context of e commerce platform as an example, uh, such as Amazon or uh, Taobao. So you can see the this is architecture consists of two parts. The first part is uh, on the left side, that is the data part, uh, consists of uh, the user and the uh, item in interaction data, and uh, that is uh, what the uh, products that the users have bought. And then the, all of these data are uploaded to the uh, cloud server, that the cloud server will train a, a, a recommendation model to capture the user's preference. And uh, so, the typical uh, techniques in the recommendation model consist of three uh, categories from the earlier uh, metric factorization to the DN to the recent years, the graph neural network because it achieves the uh, SOTA performance. So in this paper, we will focus on the graph neural network uh, based on methods. And uh, the, the goal of this uh, recommendation method is to learn the user and item embeddings. In this way, we can calculate the similarity scores but, uh, based on the user embedding and the item embeddings and uh, based on the ranking of the scores to perform the recommendation uh, service. However, such kind of architecture will raise a, post a significant privacy concern because all of the users have to upload their privacy data to the central server. So in recent years, to address this problem and uh, inspire the fact that learning is successful in the uh, uh, privacy preserving machine learning task. So many studies have tried to apply fact learning into the recommendation system. So here I just uh, introduced a key idea of the fact recommendation architecture. So the, the idea is that uh, Structurally keep the user's privacy data on their own devices. That, that's like this. You can see for each device, uh, the it's, it's user item interaction data is kept here. And you can see this is the first order graph. And then to perform the uh, recommendation service, we also deploy a local model on the user's device. In this way, we can train the local uh, model based on the local data. And then only the model parameters or the gradients are uploaded to the central server. In this way, we can uh, protect the user's privacy. At the same time, we can perform the uh, a good, uh, recommendation service with good performance. However, the uh, most ex of existing federal recommendation architecture assume that all the users have the same privacy budget. That's that's what we call the one size fit all privacy issue. It means that uh, some users may not, not care about their privacy. That is, they, they are willing to share their data with the, the central server to obtain a better recommendation service. So uh, this is the main limitations of the uh, currently federal recommendation architecture. So to address this problem in our work, we try to explore a more flexible architecture of federal recommendation system that is personalized privacy, uh, especially for the user governed data contribution. So the key idea here is that the user are freely to control whether they, they, they will upload their data to the central server and the, what the percentage of the data they are willing to share with us, uh, share with the server. So uh, 
as, as shown in this figure, this is the architecture of our work. And you can see, for example, for the first user, he uh, this guy is not concerned about its privacy, so he will upload all of its data to the central server. And for the second user, he only care about part, part, part of its privacy, so he uh, upload part of its data to the central server. And the last user, he uh, 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 care about its privacy, so he doesn't uh, upload any data to the server. So this is aligned with the traditional federal recommendation citing. And in this way, we can find that in the server, actually we can also, because we received some uh, shared uh, data, so actually in the central server, we can construct a global graph based on the shared data in the server. So in this way, we can consider the uh, model on the server as a special uh, clients and to perform uh, uh, traditional fed aggregation algorithm, such as fed average. Uh, however, here we have actually we, we, we propose two techniques to improve the performance and the uh, uh, reciting. The firstly is that the graph mining strategy because we uh, uh, consider the uh, when the, the number of training sample, uh, the number of data from the users is limited. Actually, the graph on the uh, central server is not connect well, so we cannot uh, fully uh, use the power of graph neural network. So to address this problem, we propose to use a graph mining uh, technique that is uh, an encoder decoder uh, architecture to learn the embedding of the uh, global uh, uh, to learn the global uh, graph and then to predict the possible missing links on this graph to mining this graph. In this way, we can uh, probably use the power of the graph neural network. And on the other hand, uh, because there are, you, you can see there are many uh, overlaps items and users between the local uh, device and the global server because the shared items and the users. So actually for the each, uh, for, for, for those shared items and the users, actually we can learn two embeddings uh, from the local views and the global views uh, separate factory. So in this way, we can train, uh, we, we can use the constructor learning techniques to uh, learn the better embedding for the, these items uh, to, 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 to learn, to construct the positive pairs for the purpose of constructor learning. For example, for this item, we can learn the uh, embedding from the local device uh, for the uh, local view and uh, for this one for to learn the global view and thus we can construct the positive pair uh, of these items. And to validate the effectiveness of our methods, uh, we compare with uh, three kind types of baseline. The first one is a cloud-based uh, traditional centralized methods, and another is a fire uh, learning methods. And also, we implement two variants of our methods: that is a, a UGFED MF and UGFED GN. This is two variants, very uh, naive ideas. Just uh, consider the uh, the 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 server as a special client and perform the uh, a traditional federal average. And for our method of in, in, uh, integrated two additional techniques, uh, graph mining and uh, uh, contractor learning. And also we try to simulate the re real scenario. So we, we test the different share ratio from zero uh, to one with steps, uh, step size point one. And also on the last column, uh, we also test from the zero to one. So uh, the key, uh, uh, and also here, we, we also test two extreme scenarios. Uh, when the share ratio is zero, it, it uh, aligns with uh, traditional federal learning uh, scenario sightings. And when the share ratio is one, it uh, aligns with uh, centralized uh, sightings. So from the results, we can find that uh, for the partial uploading case, you can see our method intent with uh, uh, two, our two variants and uh, frequently outperform fed rank. Oh, oh sorry, uh, I, have, uh, I forgot to <laughs> mention the fed rank. So this, this baseline has a similar ideas with us, but he, uh, it doesn't uh, allow users to directly share the raw data to the server. Instead, he allows the users to control the percentage of gradients 
all the parameters to the server instead of the raw data. So this is the difference between uh, this method and our methods. And for the no uploading scenarios, so uh, our methods uh, performs align with closely with the standard federal recommendation model because there is no shared data available. And for the full uploading scenarios, our models uh, express uh, uh, achieves better performance than the centralized method. So we attribute this improvement to the constructive learning terms. So it means that uh, our method aligns the traditional methods plus the Construct, uh, constructive learning. Okay, so in uh, in summary, uh, in 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 our work, actually, we propose a novel uh, architecture for the uh, federal recommendation, which allows users to freely control whether to upload the data to the central server. And uh, under this setting, we propose a cloud-based collaborative uh, graphing new level of federal uh, recommendation model, uh, which trains the user-centric ecographs locally and uh, use uh, constructive learning to improve the performance. And uh, in the future, uh, we will aim to address uh, some uh, challenges in the uh, setting, such as the cold start problem. Uh, okay, that's all. Thank you.